hi guys welcome to my youtube channel this is my first video on youtube and uh, as you have requested for this video so i have decided this to divide this video into two parts so part one and part two uh, seven topics each and i will explain uh, the part one now uh, and uh, part two will be discussed in the next days so let's start so first is xlookup so this is a basic xlookup function and uh, here we can just type of the name and we can get the age of uh, the person and uh, this is the field so you can enter any name in the field so firstly start with the uh, x lookup and the lookup value will be this one and then uh, lookup array will be the array where we want to search it and then uh, return array will be the answers so this is a dynamic uh, function you can change the names and get the values so yeah any name you can type it out of the table and it will automatically update itself so this is a great function yeah so you can type, type sci and it will come Yes. So uh, this is a little bit advanced function, uh, advanced version of the XLOOKUP. Not too advanced, so it's written all the matching contents of this plate number. You just have to type the plate number and you'll get all the details for that uh, plate number from this data. So let's start XLOOKUP and then uh, LOOKUP VALUE will be the plate number and then LOOKUP ARRAY will be the plate number column of the table and then return ARRAY will be the whole set of the table. So you can see here you'll get all uh, the details of that uh, plate number you can change it and you'll get the details will get updated automatically yeah so this is also a dynamic function the next is uh, this is actually a pivot table and uh, first we need to clean up this uh, data we have this data of 100 rows we first clean up this data do select all by control a and then we put alt h o i to uh, auto fit the columns and rows and we will insert a table into it we come into table and now it looks uh, pretty much good that yeah, looks pretty much uh, arranged now uh, go to pivot table um, i'm sorry so we sell inside table pivot table i already created a sheet for it so we just select that uh, sheet and uh, the we'll leave some few rows yeah so there you go uh, this pivot table has been created then we need to enter some data here and also region wise uh, uh, actual price of the sale the region wise sale and then uh, you get item wise region sales and you get item sales and you get uh, sales person wise so you can uh, just do some changes to it and uh, find out key what all the things you can do with pivot table yeah so there are a lot of filters you can use in a country wise sales and all you can do a lot of things with this excel and uh, depends on your data like what kind of data you have and what is the what is your requirement what uh, what do you need what summarized data do you need so it all depends on that yeah you can find a sales salesperson country wise and so this is all about uh, pivot table yeah so you can also find a salesperson amount of salesperson uh, sales and this is item wise salesperson wise uh, sales yeah this is pretty much everything about the pivot table let's move on to next next is hlookup many of you have asked about hlookup hlookup is nothing but uh, you can just this data so there is this employee id I want and you need a salary of those employee id so I'll use hlookup then lookup value and then the array where you want to find it so entire data and then the row which you want that is the fourth row and you will give it zero for exact match and you will get this uh, salary and you just need to drag it down double click it get enter now this is also a dynamic function you just need to change the employee id and you get the salary automatically not update the salaries so yeah, this is one is an easy function let's move on to index and match so many people are doubt in index and match this is a easy concept to be honest so you can have this name and you need to find the id number of that so index then the array you select the id number and then type match inside this nested match then uh, look up value that is the name and then uh, look up array where you want to search that name then that's it just give zero for exact match and then close both the brackets and you'll get the and this is a dynamic so just change the names and you'll get automatically the id number for those names this is actually useful for a table with a lots of data we look up is also used but uh, you get confused with that the next one is converting data into charts and graphs so this is a data sales of those items then you need to just uh, you can convert it into charts so select this data 
then got column and you have this charger different type of charts i'll use this one this looks much appropriate you can make changes to it uh, the chart title can be changed it <coughs> yeah so you can change the chart title to you know sales yeah amount of sales or something like that you can change it according to your requirement and i'm just making it bold just to look at much attractive and there are a lot of settings for this uh you can know, turn off the legends it's not necessary in this case yeah there are uh, many more options to formatting this chart or axis vertical axis and all uh, so this close it right now and in the chart settings you can see uh, it's also there in that uh, tab as well okay, what all changes you can do what all changes you need to do and you can also change the column from in the chart type from here itself and you can just change it and see like what chart type do you like so this is not an appropriate one i'll just keep it to back and uh, you can see bar bar chart is also can be used here but it does not look attractive even pie chart doesn't look attractive you need to make some changes to it yeah this one looks pretty much fine so line chart uh so this this data is not appropriate for line chart we will do one more example for a line chart yeah let's move on to that uh, line chart here we go this data is for line chart so you have date wise income for your for a person and you can go for the insert and then line you can do give a 2d so this is a line uh, line graph so you can see the graph how the income increases or decreases and there are the same options for format as well chart title and all you'll get legend you get all the taxes so yeah i'll just change this chart to income and yeah it's all the uh, settings are all the same just the chart type will be different so, so next one is if if function is actually a very useful function in excel and uh, you can see grandpa john gives it this must be small only if they are younger than 18 okay, so <clears throat> this table you have to find who receives the gift so let's begin equal to if the age is less than 18 the value of true is yes and if it is not then you give no close the bracket mm. So, no now i just need to double click it and it will automatically come up so only two of them get the gift sage is below 18. now the next one is it is a nested if function so this is a brilliant uh, tool you can see only full-time students or 4.5 gpa gets discount in store so you have to uh, give here if uh, full, this one is equal to full-time then if it is true you have to check if the gpa is greater than 4.5 so one more if the gpa is greater than 4.5 then comma if it is true don't forget to give uh, absolute references f4 if it is true give s and if it false give no we close one bracket then we'll give another value for false that is no then close the bracket and it will come up then you need to double click it yeah so you can see this two ids will get uh, the discount in a store so that's it for today guys hope you enjoyed this video let's meet up in part two